Hey there, welcome back. So basically, all you missed is me just doing this to get the rank one. And right now I'm at rank two, and this is the last business cycle before my meeting, so let's do it. So right now I'm just working in the cash. I have buildings, I have people, this and that. Let's let's do it. Okay. 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 I've just been doing this for a while. We're in the black. Here's how the business did. This will be the last time you see this screen. These are incredible nice. results. Great up. Those are going up. Meeting time. Kasagasan. Kazakhstan are finally in second place. All that's left is Hosho conglomerate in first. Almost there. That means Hosho's gonna show up at the next shareholder meeting. More than likely. In fact, I'm sure a lot of Hojo's crew will be coming for us. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's just what I expect from the final battle. We'll just have to go all out. Give those bastards everything we got. Yes. Yeah, let's win this one, Kazakhstan. Okay. You know what? Alright. Yep, so basically all I did was a little this, a little that, and now my bit also I now have thirteen million yen. I'm rich. The meeting with Hosho is coming up fast. If we don't beat him, then we can forget about first place. Number one Yokohama's only one Yo number one in Yokohama's only one meeting way away. One meeting away. We have every boss. Wait, give me a second. Let me make my employees happy. Consider the shareholder. It's about time. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, well. Greetings, President Kaligasan Eri Chan. We thought we'd come to ask you some questions today. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Like, you guys are some big threat. We're gonna send your asses packing. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking while you can. I'll see it to you. See it, you fall. Prepare yourself. Bring it on, ho show. Alright, time to start a meeting. We'll start with the financial report. My profits President should Kasuga, be if you would. good. I haven't purchased anything these past few meetings. I got all the buildings I wanted. We'll kick things off with the financial report. Eh. I'll take it. Thank you. Let's move on to the Q&A. Immediately take you out. Okay, listen up. Okay, listen up. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Please raise your hand if you have a question. All right, we're if you have any questions, <laughs> this is the time to ask. Okay, listen up. Excuse me, sir. No. Please raise your hand if you have a question. Okay, listen up. Now hold on. Oh yeah, I won. That concludes our periodic shareholders meeting. Well, everybody. This, calls this will be the last time you see this. Thanks, everybody! Thank you! The meeting went great! Shares are going up! We... <laughs> Our share price is now 100,000 yen. That's Wait for shit. it. Our ranking went up! We are number one. I'm now raking in 2 million yen a share meeting. 
Nice. <laughs> Kazuka-san, we're number one in the share price ranking. <laughs> Hell yeah, we did it, Eri-chan. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you so much. <clears throat> Impossible. I lost. How can I lose to some thug? You thinking I'm... I'm just some thug is why... Oh, wait. You thinking I'm just some thug is exactly why you lost. Why, hello! Impressive, Ichiban. Ah, Nick. <laughs> Nick! Have you been here the whole time? Nice to see you again, Hosho. Uh, Nick. The minute you lost, everyone who kept quiet suddenly opened up all about the horrible things you've done. Oh. Seems you weren't as liked as you led others to believe, huh? Urgh. Running a business isn't about making money. No matter how much profit you bring in, there's no point to do it if you don't give it back and try and create happiness for someone else. You thought only of yourself and stepped on whoever you could to boost your way to the top. And look where that got you. You might try relearning the business, Hosho. <laughs> Damn you. Uh. Nick! Hey -ya! Ha! She just knocked him out. Huh? Very chump. <laughs> Thought I'd get a swing. Uh, I'd get a swing in. This is self defense, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely self defense. Kasuka, you were amazing! I'm very impressed with your business skills, and also with your <laughs> manly physique. Ah, I see where this is going. And I'm flattered, but... Oh, I don't mean for me, hun. I'm trying to say you'd make a fine husband for Eri. Uh? What? Grandma, what are you doing? You can't just... Uh, that, that's... <laughs> But you don't seem all that opposed to the idea. You're with me, aren't you, Omelette? <laughs> Bagok? Please don't give me that. I'm so sorry, Kasuga-san. Hey, I'm sorry too. Can't imagine you like the idea of being with an old goat like me. Huh? Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. Um, I'm actually really happy when I'm around you, so... Uh. Uh, well, um, no, it's nothing. You sure are clueless, Kasuka-san. <laughs> Looks like I won't be hearing those wedding bells anytime soon. Okay, let's just drop it. Now, where do we go from here? We're number one in Yokohama, but it won't stay that way on its own. And as the number one company, the shareholders are going to be more demanding than ever. You gonna keep running the business with us, Mr. Husband Material? I'd like to ask that of you as well. We need you, Kasuga-san. Ichiban Holdings does. And so do I. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thanks. I never planned on leaving. This place is important to me. I'm lucky to have you by my side. Kasuga-san. Yes. I feel the same way. All right! Number one in Yokohama ain't enough! Let's be the best company in the country! And then, the world! Right! Where smiles are number one! Ichiban, Ichiban Holdings! Holdings! Essence of orbital. Yeah, that's uh. I'll show that later. And I officially finished the bomb. Aerie will now gain more experience. Aerie can now use Tag Team Twin Fist and use the Matriarch job. Aerie can also be hired at, for management. 
I mean, a bit late. I'm done. Alright, we're done here. You won't ever see me step foot back in that building. We got money. Now, where do I go? Oh, joystick, what are you doing? One second. Uh oh. That's drift, isn't it? Alright, that's my mouse. Alright, ignore that. Now I'm going to turn my controller back on. Alright, the drift seems gone, so. <laughs> Must have been just the connection. Weird. Okay. So we got money. We got money. We can go here. I still have to figure about that. And yeah, also we can go to the train station. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Alright, guys. I've been in there for a couple hours. We got money. Don't hit me. Oh, oh. oh why are you guys hanging out near the taxi? Okay, the moving. Alright, first things first, let's go with the professor and just get money first. I was going to get the kid, but he's here. Also, is there anything upstairs? Probably not. Yes. Alright, I'll have to turn those in one day. If I ate here? I have not. Yeah. No trub, how's it No trub, how's it going? I'm still here. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, I, I, uh, 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 ooh, that sneeze felt good though. I'm still here, welcoming me welcoming all the funds I can get. I need one million yen to reach my goal. Every yen helps, Lord Trub. What do you care to invest? Sure, give me a second. There you go. <laughs> and that makes a million. I finally have enough funds to cover development. Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm having a hard time believing I just handed you a million yen. It's all thanks to you, Lord Shrub. I'm truly, truly grateful. Now, without any further delay, I'm heading back to the lab. Yeah. I'm looking forward to what an increase in size will do for so the Soji name. You will be in awe. I'll message you once it's done. <laughs> you best prepare yourself. Sure. Alright, so he's taken care of. Now let's grab a taxi and go to the train station and uh, give a million yen to the kid. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Let's go. Never mind, it's a taxi. One is Megumi, um, Megumi's brother's room again. Shit, I'm lost. Hello. Uh, excuse me, can I help you with something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here to visit a kid named Masha, Masha, Masa, Masashi, Masashi, Masas, Masashi. But I don't know which room he's in. Sir, you'll need to check uh, in at the nurse center first, please. Once you've done that, I'll be happy to assist you. Sorry. Uh, sure, sorry. I'm not used to doing these sort of things. Yeah. Uh, that's quite all right. However, Masashi Kun just fell asleep a moment or two ago, so you'll have to wait a bit before he's up again. Right. In that case, do you think you can give this to Masashi for me? Certainly, I'd be glad to, but I don't. But don't you want to see him yourself? Yeah, but I don't want to wake him. Hmm. Doesn't really feel right just leaving him all the money, though. I'll write a little letter for him. Sorry, but let me write something. For him real quick. A million yen is a paper bag. Okay. Okay, cool. Give this to him when you can. Hi. I'm sure to do that. Don't look in the bag, lady. 
Oh, right. If you would just check in. Oh. Oh. Looks like uh, the new Soji is all done. It should be out in front of J Jinai Station. Just swing by when I can. I'm not going to do that currently, for I have a kid to go to. A million yen, kid. Oh, you guys want to go? Oh, bleach Japan. Hope you're ready. Let's go. I'll show you. There's just a lot of these. Alright, let's see what they say. Kasuga san! Uh, hello again, Kasuga san. Hey, you seem like you're doing better today. Guess what? Makun's surgery was a success! We're about to go see him! No way! That's great news! Yep! And I have this! It's a letter from someone who helped Makun! I wanted you to hear it, too. I think it's amazing how much you cared for and supported each other. This donation isn't much, but please put it toward Masashi-san's surgery. Know that there are people who understand the distances you've gone, and that we support you and want your family to be whole again. Isn't that nice? I'm glad we worked so hard. Yeah, really. You did a great job. So now that your little brother's had a surgery, I bet you're all done with donation work, huh? Not exactly. I want to return the favor to those who helped Makun by helping others now. So, I'm going to continue doing donation work. Oh yeah? That's very Megumi of you. I'm sure the person who sent that letter would be happy to hear that. Yeah. We have to get going now, dear. Yeah, it's about that time. Well, Kasuga-san, thank you again for all that you've done for us. Anytime. See you around. Kasuga-san, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. Is it just me? Or has that kid grown up since I first met her? Go be a good big sister. Take care, Megami. Well, that was worth a million yen. Oh, she's a pound mate. I forgot what she does. I'll have to use her one day. Alright, um... I want to go to the romance workshop. I got some donating to do. And then we'll do a Dachi's thing, and I think after that, we should do some story. I like to fund you. That was pocket change. Thanks by the to way. your investment, I was able to get a ton of new equipment for the shop. Oh wow! Look at that. Seriously, thank you so much. This means I can make a whole lot more stuff. Hey, no worries. Helping this place helps me out too, you know? Well, I'll do all I can to show my gratitude. Hope you'll keep coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just two million yen. 
Because of your what investment, I was able to add even more equipment to the shop. Thanks so much. This means I can make more stuff than ever before. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, I'll do all I can to show my gratitude. I hope you'll keep coming back. Yeah. Um, it looks like a teleporter. Why does all the equipment look so futuristic? Oh, wow, you need 11 million? Oh, you need 20. Oh, okay. Oof. And this is where I'll grind it off screen. <laughs> you do not need to see me do that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I can make a... Damn it, I wanted to change her class. But that is a really, really good upgrade for her. <sighs> really good. Okay. Armor. We can make trick. Alright, let me see. Trick hat, regular hat. I have to actually grind materials, but yeah, I haven't started doing that yet. Because that's where all the good items are. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to Hello Work, change her class. That. I'll worry about after, then we'll go there. Okay. I think Arison has, you know, she's been in this class for a while, and I want to try something new with her. I also want to see what else there is, because, you know, we've been using these for a while, and I'm rank uh, 9 with them. Can I help you? Alright, Airy can be idle. No. Matriarch? I don't have a weapon for Matriarch. Dealer? Yes. Dealer's good. Hostess is good. And then... Yep, that's a thing. Yep. I'm gonna make you a... I can make you a Matriarch. Let's see, what costumes do we got for you? Oh, just the basics. Actually, that looks okay, but nah, we'll just do matriarch pattern. Oh, I like the purple. Congratulations! Alright, you are matriarch level one. What do you think? What would you got in a 10? Shadow Stitch, okay. That is a character skill, not a job skill. That would have been... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, every class is two. Okay. Take your time. You haven't got your character skills yet. Okay. Okay, that's one. And the other one is Megaton Throw. Do I want to change it? I don't know. Bond level four, host. Hmm. Ichiban Kazuga, host. Or chef. Do your best out there. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Can I help? Back you? in I go. Okay. So matriarch is you stats without gear. Okay. We're gonna keep you as idle. Here you are. You're getting close. Yeah, you got the healing stuff now. And your next character skill is impish wink. And then essence of idle spirit. Yep. She can't be a dealer until requirement four. Um, right now I'm enjoying Breaker. Do your best out there. I could actually do Chef personally with Kazuga, since you know. Can I help yeah, you? know, what? I'm gonna do the Chef real quick. I shall learn how to cook. Here you are. And let's see, medium well, flambe, pepper mill blow, which I think is actually, if I remember correctly, is really good. And vanishing pan. Yeah, let's do it. You're doing great. Do your best out there. Oh, not what I wanted. All right, gear. There we go. Tongs. And... Nope, not the earrings. I'll give those to her after. Um, I think I'm more of a magic class, actually. So, yeah, give me the earrings. No, oh, those are healing. I want... Do I not have anything that increases your magic? Okay. We'll just do a... Uh, we'll do chain mail. Okay. 
airy chan we only got that weapon all right now we're gonna go all the way where is it 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 uh, uh, oh wait a side quest just showed up no no I was done <laughs> I was done. You can't. Oh, this. There it is. That's the. That's what I want right there. I was done. You can't just keep coming up like that. God damn it. God damn, Bobby. I had a dog. Uh. This one. We still have 11 mil. Which, if. Yeah. All right. Oh damn it. I'm. Whoops. A few streets too high. I keep forgetting it's the suit. There we go. That's what I want. I'm here to buy weaponry and armor. Because this shop has the high grade stuff. And I'm rich now. And I can just farm money. Alright. What do we have here? Alright. Immediately buying you Iron Hammer. Alright. Thief's mask boosts excessive steel. All right. All right. I guess I'm gonna buy some of these. Magic goes down, but defense goes up. Okay. Absolute safety shoes. Oh, yeah, they're actually really good, given to me. Oh, they're, uh, her magic goes down, but I think we're just gonna increase everyone's defense. Arigato! Arigato! Um, okay, I didn't expect a new side quest to show up. God damn it. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Um, I want to go here. I want to go to this place. I want to check some places. Right, restaurant row. Good. Hello, sir. ありがとうございました。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なんかった。なん
Why are they ganging up on that dominatrix lady? Fifty shades of play. <laughs> Don't you think you're past your prime? Look, nobody wants you around. So listen to the number one girl and leave. But I, I do still have clients who request me. So for their sake, I can't just... Yeah, yeah, we know you're totally lying. The rep of this place has been dropping lower than that sagging ass of yours. <laughs> My advice? Find a cushy day job and let the next generation run the show. Got it, granny panties? <laughs> <laughs> But really, don't you think it's time to put down the whip? I mean, you could break a hip in those heels. No! I take pride in what I do. I've always done my best to help my clients leave happy, even if there aren't many left. I wasn't asking for your opinion. I'm saying you're nothing but an eyesore. Understand? <sighs> What's with that look? You want me to slap it off your face? All right, ladies, that's enough. Huh? I know it's none of my business, but you're taking this way too far. Huh. Oh, and frankly speaking, I think you're the ones bringing your club down, not her. Uh, what? Ew, what is with him? He one of yours, Yumiko-san? Only a loser would eavesdrop. This loser's only here because he heard you stirring up trouble. Half the town could, really. I was just passing by. Then why don't you mind your own business? We don't have to listen to some random nobody. Forget it, girls. Let's just go. Hold on, Shiho. We're not finished with her. Yeah? Well, I am. Besides, I got an even better idea. Watch your back out there, Grams. Yeesh. You all right there? I am. Thank you. Yes, there's always haters no matter where you go. Sometimes life's a harsh mistress. Alright. Yeah, this one's a weird one. <laughs> Think and grow confident. Alright, let's use... Ah, we'll save that bodyguard rank one. Alright, we're in the red light district. Wait, what? You kill board. You're gonna be in a world of I might have to change her class, but I don't think you get her um... <laughs> I don't think we get her um... Weapons yet, so a little later in the game. class. Try and stop me. Okay. So I might actually change her class. Feeling good. Recruiter, oh, floral microphone, clear. All right. The recruiter's being super inappropriate. I keep telling him off, but he doesn't take no for an answer. So maybe you could deliver the message with a little more force. I'm over here on Central Street. Time to hustle. Okay. I'm from Part Time Hero, and you need to learn. No means no. You're making my client uncomfortable. But I'm offering the lady a job. But you want comfortable? Okay. You're going down. Leave it to me! I'm not backing down. I'll 
show you. You're in it now. That's <laughs> picking time. <laughs> Try and stop. Check this out. It's a shill board. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Um, just do a hand. No, just a regular attack will do. Right. Come on. She hasn't even fallen yet, and she won't get it done. Right. Ladle. That's how you do it! Nice! Yeah, I might change her job. Maybe hostess. Sorry, Hef, I, I appreciate what you did. Uh, uh, did when he, he was really pressuring me. Pressuring people into a contract would work. Anyway, I'll be sure to call when anything comes up. Right, yep, yep. With finesse. With finesse. <sighs> well, that was rather man, I could feel a scratch and somehow that scared me. The fault lies completely with us, sir. Please accept this session on the house. I I don't know what to say. I just wasn't enough for him. Don't worry, not even the toughest mistress in town can make him feel anything again. No one can. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sad. Hey. Hey, that guy is some kind of celebrity or something? Well, you could say he's in our world. We call him Mr. Masochist. Hmm? Mr. Masochist. That's right. He roams the streets looking for agony and abasement of the lowest caliber. But lately he's been in a funk, saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. What happened to the poor guy? Now he's get he, and now he's got every kink club in town bending over backwards trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? <laughs> well, think about it. Would you want to be known as the one and only establishment who could break the unbreakable? That kind of buzz would be priceless. Oh. Ah, that's kind of smart, actually. Everyone in the business is going after him. Rinky kinky, fetch a fetish, bloody gauntlet, the dom dome. But he just walks out sulking. That man was stiff as a board, but not in the way he needed to be. Guess that's one way to put it. It's his skin. Hmm? Say, what? His skin was concrete hard. No matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for the matter, he wouldn't even flinch. Looks like I still have a long way to go. <laughs> don't be so down on yourself. Why don't we do some training so that next time when he comes around, you can make him feel alive. Hi! Yeah, you're right. Well, time to work. Our uh, customer service, so to speak. Talk to you later. Is he gonna have himself tied up? Y yeah. <sighs> so, we got Mr. Masochist running around town. Why does this not surprise me? Yep. Eh? You, you dare talk back to me, pig? Squee, forgive me, mistress. I mean, oink, oink. Yep. Mm-hmm. You'll never see me in there. All right. Okay, I think... Oh, he's at the park. Alright, let's find a taxi. I'm gonna go to Hello Work real quick. I'm gonna change her class, because... Yeah, I forgot Matriarch DLC class. You can't exactly do anything with it for a bit. You can make, I guess, weaponry at Romance Workshop. We can check that real quick, I guess. Just run south and see if Romance Workshop has anything I can make for Matriarch. Because the two classes, the DLC classes, are Devil Rocker, which is basically a musician, but harder, like uh, the music, and um, and I think it does a few more things in the, of course, Matriarch, which is all about the bleed. Alright, do we have anything for Matriarch? No. How about I strengthen something? Nope. I can strengthen my wooden flippers and other. Actually, let me upgrade my bat. Just touch. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. I need some Kawatech 010. 
Uh, I can upgrade the bulletproof shield, the vintage guitar. I mean, the bulletproof shield just rules. Why not? Almost there. All right, we can upgrade again. Looking good. There we go. And now we can upgrade the impervious shield if I get ten creatine super X. All right. All right. Yeah, we have to change our class because I can't get her weaponry at the moment. Not until I unlock certain things. Yeah, this is me not thinking ahead. Matriarch. No, 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 no. There's a reason why it's a rank five class. Because you can't use it early. Um, let me see. Can I help you? Yes, yeah, so I want to change her job to. She could be a hostess or a night queen. I'm curious in the night queen, honestly. Hmm. We already got an idol. I mean, we could put her back at clerk. I'm gonna go with Night Queen. Congratulations. Think, I'll be rooting for I you. I think you can get gear for Night Queen. SM Whip. And. Uh, yep. Alright, we'll try Night Queen. I think I can get gear for that. Uh, if we go to. Actually, wait one second. If we go to. Benton Pawn. I mean, I can sell some things there. Yeah, let's go there. I want to start selling a few things. I got a bunch of plates. I'm doing some odds and ends here today. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm not backing down. I have a secret I wouldn't underestimate me. 
Collect some of the Sushimon place. Hello, sir. I'm here to buy. Let's see what we got. Uh, nothing really for me. Alright, but I will sell to you. Nope, no, no, I said sell. Thank you. Where are my plates? There they are. Here, have some trash and a silver plate. Alright, nice. Alright, so I can go to the Tsuchimon headquarters and actually get something sweet. We'll do that real quick and then we'll continue with the story going on with Mr. Masochist. Right there and there. Let's see what he has to give me. And if it's another 10,000 yen, I'll take it. My uh, workshop needs a bunch. I'll have to farm all that off screen. Definitely. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you have a whip for you say? No. No, okay. Arigato. All right, he's here. Let's go. He's on the other floor. Hello, homeless man. Hey, man. Oh, greetings, friend. I see you've been giving that Tsuchimon app. Oh, okay. Here's something to tide you over. Yes, it's just a morsel. I'm aware, but you'll have to make it. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. Fire God Amulet. Well, my fire defense goes up very nicely. Sweet, I guess. Smartphone, taxi. I can never call a taxi. Oh, wait, whoops. Oh. Oh, those are pound mates. Okay. And that's the workshop. Where, okay. Huh? Bud, bye, bud. Okay. Someone has to have equipment for her. I'm gonna say the love shop. Right, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go to the shop. Actually, there's something I wanna do now that just hit me. I'm going back, uh, restaurant. No, I cannot go down there. I'm gonna go up here instead, next to survive. No. Okay, so it is down there. Alright, that's all I wanted to check it. While I'm here, let's make friends. Now I can use the planters. Okay. That was an accident. Alright, you two, let's do this. Uh, Dachi-san, what's up with the suit? 
Oh, don't you remember? We're doing that out of court settlement. Oh, yeah. Takashi kun scraped that guy's bumper. And he demanded Takashi kun pay him a million yen, so you decided to meet with the guy. Hoping he's just a damn con man. Wearing a suit to the settlement, huh? You really care about this kid, Adachi san. Well, there's one more reason I was thinking I should look sharp today. You know how I sent a letter to Takashi asking for the contact info of the car owner? Takashi wrote back and said he wanted to be there when I meet the guy. Guess he finally wants to see his daddy long legs in person. <laughs> After 20 years of being sent money and all. You know, that whole time I came up with excuses to never meet Takashi. I, I just sent him letters. So Takashi-kun's gonna meet Yamada-san for the first time today? Yeah. I figured the least I could do is look the way a big shot should. Except, even though it is a suit, it's pretty plain for a rich guy, ain't it? Oh, give me a break, man. This is all I had. Anyway, I explained what's gonna go down here to the staff, so we're good on that front. Only thing left for me to ask is if uh, you're willing to stay and back me up, Kasagun. Why me? Well, a real daddy long legs would have a lackey with him, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Come on, don't make me deal with this asshole and the kid all by myself. Please, man. Fine. But when you interviewed Takashi 20 years ago, it was in person, right? What if he remembers your face? He was five years old at the time. No way he would remember me. Especially now that I probably look like his damn grandpa. Here's hoping. Excuse me, is Yamada-san here? Are, are, are you Takashi? Yes, I am. Wow. Look at you, all grown up. What? Oh, no, 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 it's just, <laughs> I still imagine you the way I did when we first started writing each other 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm Yamada. We finally meet Yamada-san. Thank you so much for supporting me all this time. Oh, I just enjoy lending a hand to promising kids like you. That's, <laughs> that's what a philanthropist does. So why are we meeting here? What is this place? Oh, it's a, a, a bar I run as a hobby. I'm a, mm, I'm a big jazz guy. So you're also a patron of the arts. Amazing. <laughs> and who are you? I'm his... Mm, not stylist. I'm gonna say lackey. I'm just one of Yamada-san's lackeys. Lackeys? Yeah, you know, I... I follow him around. You... Is that a job? Yeah, of course it is. A guy needs an entourage, right? Uh, he misspoke. Uh, everyone knows businessmen don't have lackeys. Ah, uh, I should have said secretary. <laughs> He's my secretary. Yeah. <laughs> my joke-loving secretary. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Definitely an interesting guy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nice to meet you. Now... Takashi-kun, where's the owner of this car you scraped? His name is Hasegawa-san. He should be here soon. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Asking me to come all the way out here to a dive like this? All I can say is you better have my money. There's a few things I'd like to ask you first, Hasegawa-san. Oh, you must be Daddy Longlegs. What do you want? Why are you demanding one million for a scratch bumper? Because this is no ordinary car. Oh, is that right? I don't know much about cars, but it looked pretty ordinary to me. <laughs> it may look like a typical sedan, but it's actually a top-of-the-line British luxury car. And now I have to send it back to England for repairs. Right. Mind telling us how the accident went down? Well, I was just sitting there, waiting for the signal, and this kid here, barely paying attention to what he's doing, of course, just pulls up right next to me on his bike. That's when his pedals scraped up against my bumper! Takashi-kun, does all of that sound right to you? I guess. It didn't feel like I hit anything. I mean, I felt the hem of my pants sliding along something, but... Ha! I wish it'd been the hem of your pants! When I heard the scraping sound, I looked over just in time to see your pedal gouging the hell out of my paint job! Really? Well, that's funny. What is? If it was a regular sedan, all you'd be able to see from the driver's seat would be the hood. No way you'd see the bumper down below. Oh, in my car, you can see it. Steering wheel's on the left, you know. 
obviously don't know much about foreign luxury cars. On the left, huh? That's even funnier. Didn't you say the car was from England? Did you know? British and Japanese cars both have the wheel on the right? You might want to come clean before you dig yourself a deeper hole. I say the mark on the bumper was already there, and the car is about as British as me. So what'll it be? Admit you were trying to pull a fast one and we'll let you go. But if you decide you want to keep bitching over nothing, then my secretary here will have to intervene. By the way, I'm not just Yamada-sama's secretary. I'm also his bodyguard. Ah, fuck! So, it really was all a scam. And a shitty one at that. <laughs> Wait, Yamada-san, did you know it was a scam from the start? Uh, more or less. One million ain't much to a guy like me, of course, but uh, us rich folks don't like our money going to criminals. We gotta do our part, you know? Wow, rich people are so cool. <laughs> that we are. So, how about that bar exam, Takashi? Think you'll pass this year? Well, actually, I found out I didn't. Uh, oh, that's a shame. But you know, the average age of the people who do pass is 29. So I figure as long as I pass it by then, I'm good. <laughs> Isn't that, uh, four years from now? Yeah, and when I do become a lawyer, you'll be the first to know, Yamada-san. Ah, looking forward to it. Thanks. I have some studying to do today, so I'm gonna get going. Hang in there. Four more years of sending money. Oh, man, that's gonna be tough. Here's hoping it only takes four years. Wait, what do you mean? If he's getting caught up in a simple scam like this, how's he supposed to understand the finer points of law? Hey, now, don't be like that. No, he's just too honest, is all. And who knows, maybe he'll pass next year. I sure hope so. Well, either way, at least he bought my rich guy act. <laughs> yeah, well, we can thank my little performance for that. Your performance? I was the one with the starring role. If there... You know what? For whatever, man. Let's just celebrate the fact that we pulled it off. Yeah, with the cheapest drinks money can buy. All right, rank four. One more. Dun, dun, dun. Adachi can now be a host. Interesting. Okay. Your follow. Wait, for the followers, you grow can now be taken to bartender to survive. And boot some of these bouquets to different love interests Costco meets as Jeremy. Okay. Yo, Sajan. Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. Well, what's up? Oh. Is it about Nanoa? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Yep. Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We've been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soapland. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her, and she'll end up right back at the Soapland. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Hmm. You know, um... Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to use my ace in the hole. Huh? You've had a plan this whole time? I sure do. You introduce Nanoha to a guy who's better than her boyfriend. Then she'll drop that loser like a rock. No way. Her heart is a complete mystery. 
I mean, we're talking about a woman who fell in love with Katsura Gawa. Hear me out. You bring in a shining stud that makes all the other dudes look like ass. I bet he'll catch your eye. Okay, but you're forgetting I don't know any guys like that. Where do I find a stud? Come on. I'm sure he's closer than you think. Where? You're looking at him! <laughs> you think you're the dreamy type, Ichiban? That's even funnier than your hair! <laughs> well, I wasn't joking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ooh, if it helps, I definitely feel more cheerful about this now. <laughs> uh, good shit then. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump him, I don't know. Mm. <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? Beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. But he probably isn't. Especially now that he knows Nanoha's willing to be his piggy bank. If we screw this up, he might even take her with him when he bails. I can't let that happen. I think what we gotta do is crush his pride. Like, get Nanoha to break up with him without shedding a single tear. As if he's nothing to her. And how do we do that? That's <laughs> so obvious, Sachan. Haven't you caught on yet? Wins. To what? You pretend to be Nanoha and break up with him. Use the twin angle to your advantage. Yeah. March in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa's hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. <laughs> she and her sister are a handful. And it feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. Job can I think should see? Oh no, she just gains more experience. Okay. All right, they're all dealt with. And you know what? Let's eat here. Welcome. Oh. Thanks. Actually, let me just go up here. you can use. Alright, let's go to the park. No, oh, actually, wait. Let's go to the red light district. Oh, let's see if they got a weapon for her. Alright. Good. Should be right behind. Nope. Right ahead. Right left. Left right. Up down. Down right.
Actually, no. I gotta take a taxi. I wish my phone's tag. Oh, wait, it does work. Oh, okay. The park is about up there, I believe. Because that's the homeless camp. The park is around there. Oh, I gotta do can quest off screen too. Yep, okay, good. I guessed somewhat correctly. No, 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 no. I'm good. I was actually going to the weapon shop. Oh, that's the weapon. Okay, never mind. They've already been there. I'm running in circles right now. Hey, dude! Have you lost it? Just leave me alone. Wait, don't I know you? The guy from the Red Light District, uh... All right, it's Mr. Fetish. You're Mr. Masochist, right? So you've heard of me before. Mostly just rumors from a fetish club. Anyway, I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. Most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Uh-huh. So, why were you headbutting a tree just now? Because I want to feel. I want to hurt. Oh, right. I heard something like that from the club owner. About how you can't feel pain anymore? That would be correct. As a true glutton for punishment, I've spent many a night getting beaten half to death. By beautiful women in leather, might I add. But that's beside the point. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Eventually, I felt nothing. Happiness is fleeting, as they say. Dang. I know I started the conversation and all, but I can't relate to that. Like, at all. Here's who I really am. A man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt if I smashed it with my head. And did it? No. I felt stronger pain from a mosquito's embrace. Wow. It sounds like you've been through a lot, man. I don't know what to say. As much as I'd like to help, I should probably get going. Wait! Why don't you just hear me out? I noticed that you have a pretty solid physique, though it pales in comparison to mine. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, preference for whip ladies aside, I wish to test my endurance out on you. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So let me ask you, Kasuga-san. Will you strike me with everything you have? You want me to hit you? Yes. If it hurts, there's still hope. Use whatever tools you have at your disposal. Gang up on me if you have to. Man, he's actually serious. Is he really okay to... Is it really okay to start wailing on though? Yeah, sure. You asked for it. And trust me, we ain't no mosquitoes. All right. Then come at me! All right, let's hurt the masochists. I got Yeah, but then. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, but then. Let's go. This is a weird one. Yeah, but then. I'm not down. Let's go. Right. Get alive. Yeah, but then. Yeah, but then. Yeah. 
Or how am I set you on fire? Come on now! Suck on this! Right. Don't get caught! Did everyone stop going over that? I'm, I'm ready now. now. I'm up! Let's go! I got this! That's enough. Good luck right. next time. We got nowhere with that. Any luck? I'm afraid not. Despite being beaten to a pulp, I couldn't feel a thing. You took no damage. For real? Damn. <clears throat> to think I'll never feel true pain again. That by itself almost hurts. Come on, uh, Mr. Masochist, was it? I no longer deserve that name. Please, just leave me be. Well, nothing more I can do for him. Hope he finds the pain he's looking for. Alright, any blue? Any blue? There's a blue. But that's a different type of blue, and there's a blue, but that blue don't want a blue, blue, blue. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's go up there and see what he wants. Oh, right, 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 right. The thing's done. Sujiro. Do that now? Probably not. No, let's do a few rounds of Dragon Car. Cause I actually want to do some Dragon levels, but this has only been going on for an hour. Oh, what's this? Uh, okay. Oh. Shit, this is bad. What do we do? Oh, you had to go away and come back, and you left. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? You guys all right? Where's Taka? I don't know. There was a phone call from Junpei while you were away. From Junpei? Yeah. My guess is the Yakuza forced him to call. He was saying, they're going to kill me. Please help. Sound like he was in bad shape, too. We also heard someone say something like, uh, what sounded like, don't forget the donation in the background. Uh, uh, where's Taka? Takasan flipped out and took out fast bite. <sighs> that Takasan's a fool. Kazuka-san, at this rate, Takasan and Junpei will be killed. Are gonna get killed. I know we just met, but I don't know who else to turn to. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say, but if it's just us, I know. Still, there's no need to go button heads with the Yakuza. All right, I'm already in this far. Might as well go see it to the end. Thank you very much. The Yakuza office where Junpei's being held is west of Central Street Street. I believe you'll find Takasan's bike there. Okay. Well. Alright, time to roll. Gotta find the office where Taka's bike is parked. Alright. Sweet. Okay, so the trigger this one, we just had to go away. There's a shop there. And that's the expensive shop, too. You know what? I'm gonna look at that shop. I'm done playing uh, management for now. Let's uh, see what the shop has to offer, because now we can get the expensive stuff. And we haven't even touched arcades and all that yet. Oh, this game has so much. Apparently the next one has even more. Oh wait, am I in the wrong building? Yep, okay, I know, I know, I know, I need to get gold keys, and I know where to get them. I just need to actually find my way back in there to get them. Which is the... Yokohama Leo. I think it's, like, area here. You have to break a door, and you're good to go. 
And the keys, I think, are a thousand yen each, if I'm remembering correctly. Did that eat there? Yes, that's where the professor was. Everything's actually worse. Huh. I am disappointed. You were supposed to have the high-end quality stuff. But you didn't have anything. Alright, let's save uh, Taka. I think after all this, the side quest should be done except the Roomba. <laughs> Which I will wait a little bit longer to do that. I'm in no rush to get that done. I want to do some grinding off screen for that. Well, I found this bike. This must be Taka's bike. Junpei should be somewhere inside. Okay, let's get this over with. About the donation bit, huh? You can still bow till your back hurts for all I care. That shit means nothing to me. Uh, uh, son please stop. You're gonna kill him. Uh -huh. Then tell your buddies to hurry their asses up with our money. Hand over the 20 million, and we'll forget the whole thing. But you better go fast, or we'll start adding interest. I don't have 20 million at the moment. Uh, hey. Sorry to keep you waiting. You must be the shitty Yakuza to, to, to take kids a little too seriously. Uh, and who the hell are you? Oh, oh man. Ooh. You're one of the little shit's friends. Sure, I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> then, you know what we want, right? Beats me. Donation this, donation that. Who gives a shit? Asswipes like you who get a kick out torturing kids. This should be enough, yeah? <clears throat> Smug bastard. You think this is some kind of joke? Forget the little shit's money. We'll just put put their guts on the bat black market call day. <laughs> now we're talking. They'll be begging to be sent to hell by the time we're done with them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys could do better than that. All right, man. Don't let them leave this place alive. Kill them all. On it. Let's do it. I'm gonna set them on fire. Right. After, of course, she does whip service. I'll show you. Be a good boy. Oh, you're gonna be in a world of trouble. Yeah, sure you can beat me? Check this out. Take this. Here we go. Try this on for size. I wouldn't underestimate me. You're awesome. Get a lie. You're gonna get stomped. Let's go. Go in it. Let's go. Beautiful. Shield blast is still good. I You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Nope. I was gonna run over there and get the object. Oh, yeah, I, I was blocking cool. off. That wasn't happening. All right. Right. This out. Oh yeah. This is my Oh, wow. Nice! 
Bolt Lord Crash and Somersault Leg. Yo, let's get out of here, boys. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Takasan, thank you. Thank you so much for coming to help. Putting yourself on the line to save me. I owe you my life. Ah, don't mention it. I couldn't abandon my bro, could I? Besides, I didn't do anything. Kasuga-san's the one who helped you. It's him you should be thanking. Kasuga-san, thank you very much. But why do all this for someone you've never met? Who knows? Maybe I just wanted to show off in front of the kid who reminded me of my old self. Couldn't really tell you. My purple Kaiser froze! Sorry. I guess we weren't much help. To hell with that! We made it back in one piece, that's what matters. You mean barely in one piece? You look like shit, man. Yeah, and Kasuga-san looks like a bomb went off in his face. Appreciate you stepping in back there. Yo, I always look like this. Uh, wait, are you screwing with me? <laughs> Wasn't it obvious? <laughs> 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 Almost forgot. There's something I want to tell you guys. And what's that? It's in regard to our new friend Ichiban here. I'm thinking about making him the honorary president of the Purple Kaisers. Man, how many presidents Ooh, are we going to be? Neat. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold up a sec. I never said I'd... Just because you'll be our honorary president doesn't mean we expect you to stick around. It's just that we're all here now thanks to you. So we wanted to have something to remember you by. <laughs> Guess that's a bit much, huh? Nah, that's cool with me. Oh, and you're more than welcome to go riding with us anytime. We'll even have a bike ready for you. Hmm. You know, I think I'll pass. Uh, okay. But I'm good with being an honorary president, so long as it's only a title. Kasuga-san! All right, then. It's settled. Our honorary president is the great Kasuga-san. Don't worry. You can leave the presidential duties to me. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Rowdy bunch, ain't they? Kasuga-san, thanks again for helping us. There's no way we could ever repay you, but please, Except this is a way of showing our gratitude. What is it? It is... You don't have to repay me. I'm the one who stuck his nose into your business. Swordsman Sash. Ah, that'd probably be great for bodyguard. <laughs> Modest till the end. I guess that's a sign of true strength, huh? Very well, then. I'll follow you until I draw my last breath, Kasuga-san. Huh? Call me up anytime you need something. We'll come riding in no matter where or when. It's our duty to protect our honorary president. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be counting on you when that time comes. Leave it to us. He is now pound mate. Junpei, try not to rear end any more Yakuza from now on, all right? I won't. I'll be more careful. Well, we should get going then. Kasuga-san, you take care. Yeah. Take care, Mr. President. Putting your life on the line for your brother, huh? Maybe now I can say I'm just like the boss. Nah. <sighs> I still got a ways to go. <laughs> Bros till the end. Alright, I think we got a bunch of stuff done. Just not this one, but other than that, we're good. Yeah. 
I still have to look at this section, the top left section there. This. But yeah. I'm gonna call it there. We finished the management. You will not ever, ever, ever see that again. Ever. <laughs> I felt good. Yeah, next time I'll probably actually do story stuff. I was gonna, I was thinking of doing some dragon cart, but I think it's been long enough. We could do a little story before I even touch dragon cart. But I'm, I'm gonna do some grinding off screen just to get some of their ranks up. That's all. Because their levels, yeah, they matter, but the rank levels matter too. Because holy cow, you will get hit hard. Ugh. Bam. I'll uh, see you next time, and bye.